All right, welcome to our video on installing low flow shower heads where we will show you how to do it and also demonstrate some of the benefits of doing so. We've chosen the Oxygenix Elite Shower 700 series for this particular installation and we'll talk more about our choice for that along the way. Okay, for this video we'll be changing out the shower head at one of our um, rental properties and at that property we've got uh, tenants are three gals who are graduate students at Colorado State University. Um, we've got our simple tools that we need for the job and we've got our replacement shower head. But before we head over there, let's talk about the three benefits that we expect to uh, realize from the shower head change up. First of all, there's the big picture uh, environmental benefit of probably saving you know, a few hundred gallons of water a month in this case which that's a big deal anywhere, but particularly in Colorado and the more arid west, it's, it's a really big deal. Um, secondly, we're gonna save our tenants money on their water bill, obviously, as we save them water, but also on their electrical bill for heating that water for their showers. And third, we're gonna solve a fundamental problem that they have, which is three of them, they have, they're all in the same graduate program, they're on similar schedules, they tend to take showers back to back, three of them in the morning, and they tend to run out of hot water toward the end of that. So hopefully we'll take care of that problem as well. So let's head over there. First we need to let the water run for two minutes and then we'll measure the flow rate for the current shower head. Okay, we're measuring five seconds worth of flow. So you can see the flow rate for the original shower head according to our handy little measuring bag here from Green Irene is about four and a half gallons per minute. Remove the old shower head, use a crescent wrench to get it started. Be sure to clean up the threads with a wire brush. Then we're going to wrap Teflon tape one and a half to three turns around the uh, threaded end of the shower head. It's important to wrap that Teflon tape clockwise. Then we'll hand tighten the new shower head. And we'll finish tightening that with a crescent wrench using a washcloth in this case to just protect the shower head while we tighten it. The Oxygenix shower head has a little infinite adjustment from low pressure in this position to highest pressure in this position. Flow remains the same. So we're ready to measure the new flow rate. So it's easy to see the huge reduction in flow after putting in the Oxygenix shower head. Um, looks like we're at about 1.25 gallons per minute against the uh, 4.5 gallons per minute of the old shower head. By the way, if you want to measure before and after flow rates and you aren't working with a Green Irene eco consultant and his or her handy little uh, flow rate bag, you can simply measure the amount of time that it takes to fill a one gallon bucket or pail and convert that up to gallons per minute. Well, there you have it. A quick and easy way to save water, energy, and money by changing out a shower head. If you'd like to see more details about those savings or learn more about similar projects to make your home more eco-friendly, check out our blog at blog.greenteamre.com. Thanks for watching.